Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome to Lead House. And in today's master class, we are going to learn a few techniques through which we are going to be aware of ourselves. So, first of all, my dear students, let me unmute you all and let me ask one thing. Please open your videos, everything, open your videos so that I can interact, I can look at, look into your eyes and interact with you. Thank you, Mahesh. Thank you, Mabashir. May I request Asna Sahab, Insha, Seharish, Aisha, and Umayama to kindly, yes, switch on your video. Thank you very much, everyone. Yes, Umayama, switch on your video. Aisha, switch on your video. Asna, switch on your video, please. So first of all, tell me when you entered in this Zoom and uh, on the screen it was written that close your eyes and relax. So how many of you, honestly tell me, how many of you did that? Yes, Mubashir did. Who else? Mahvish did, good. And who else? How often do we give relaxation to our eyes and to our mind? In the hustle bustle of life, mostly we forget to give the relaxation to our mind especially. Mubashir, you tell me when you relax, when you close your eyes and when you were listening to the soft music, how was your like feeling? How did you feel at that moment? Am I feel like I am in the sky, I'm free too. Wow, that's really a beautiful answer that you are free and you are in the sky. And uh, Mahvish, you tell me what did you feel when you were doing? See, Asna is saying she is not at home. Umema is saying camera is not working. Mahvish is saying, Mahvish Mirza, camera is not working. So uh, I request you all that since these classes are only two days in a week, so please you schedule your routine in such a way that you attend these classes. Even I have to go somewhere out today, but I have given the timing 7.30 because I know that 5.30 is my class and it will take approximately one and, a, one and a half hours. And then after that, half an hour and can spend on the traveling. So please take it seriously. Otherwise, there is no use of joining this course. Then from my side, you all are free. Eat, drink and enjoy your life. Okay. But once you have enrolled here, I need seriously your participation, 100% your effort and your contribution here. So my dear students, today in this class, we will be doing lots of activities and out of that, the first activity is mindfulness. Mindfulness is important to know ourselves. Mindfulness is important to understand ourselves. Mindfulness is important to know how do we think, how do we react, how do we learn, how do we understand the world. For that purpose, mindfulness is important. 
and we have to spend at least five to 10 minutes time every day where we all can be only with us. That is called me time. You and your time, you and your feelings, you and your emotions, you and your uh, world and no one else in between. That is called me time. So now I request all of you to kindly close your eyes and be in your mind time, me time for two minutes. Observe yourself, your breathing, your heart, your feelings, your emotions, your mind, your thoughts, your brain, your limbs, your internal organs, how do they function, your whole body, your eyes, your hands, Just observe each and every part of your body and try to understand that how do they work and try to understand how important they are. God forbids if one day you are without them, how will you feel? One day you wake up in the morning and you found that you don't have a finger, how will you feel? What will be your reaction? What will be the consequences? What problems you are going to face? And when you realize those problems, try to understand the importance of everything in your life. Try to understand the importance of yourself, importance of your body, importance of your organs, importance of your parts of the body, importance of your surroundings, the people around you, your family, your relatives, your friends, your school, your teachers. Once you understood their importance, show your gratitude towards them. Be humble. Be thankful to them that without them, your life is meaningless. Now slowly open your eyes. Come into your real world. Look at each other and smile at each other. Beautiful. Now who's going to share the experience? Any one volunteer. Only one child will get the chance. Who's going to share the experience of this mindfulness that we have done today within two minutes? And you are expected and you are advised to do this at least every day for five minutes. Yes, Asna Sahib, I would have given you a chance, but you are not on video. So I'm sorry, we cannot listen to you properly because eye contact is important while talking. So may I request any other participant who can switch on the video and speak? Yes, come on. How did you feel just now? Yes, that's nice on video. Very good. This was my technique to bring you on the video. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. I felt at peace and I like felt uh, inner uh, happiness. And uh, I was like uh, feeling really beautiful and uh, I was at peace and I was able to hear my heartbeat. And uh, I imagined uh, what would be my life, my life would be like if I don't have the internal organs or I lose my finger or my hands. And uh, I um, got to know that they are really important for me and uh, what will like what will happen to me if they're not uh, functioning right or they're not there. Very beautiful, very beautiful. 
so this was our realization of our whole existence our especially our body and parts of the body now if one more i can take the response then we can go to the next activity anyone else would you like to share how was your journey of these two minutes when you were listening to the music and you were mindful of yourself, mindful of your body parts, mindful of your internal organs, mindful of the surroundings, the family, the people, the relatives around you? So how was your, that time, how was your feeling? Okay, now everybody unmute fast, fast, unmute yourself. Everybody unmute yourself fast. There is some emergency. Unmute yourself, everybody fast. Unmute, unmute yourself. All of you, unmute yourself. Unmute, unmute, everyone. Unmute, unmute, unmute. Aisha, unmute yourself. Serish, unmute yourself. Okay, everybody unmute yourself. And everybody say loudly, good morning to Zika. Good morning to Zika. Everybody say loudly. Hey, loudly, good, good morning. morning to Zikra, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, Zikra. Good morning, Good morning, Zikra. And we are doing this video. Okay, thank you. Now, I need to mute yourself. So, this is this is what we do with the latecomers. Okay? When latecomers come, we say good morning, welcoming them. Okay. So now back to our previous question that anyone would like to share that how were you feeling when you were we, uh, we were doing the mindfulness? Who wants to share? Raise up your hand first. Oh, oh it seems that my two minutes activity has not been very effective with you all. Okay, now tell me how effective was it? Write in the chat box out of 10. How effective was mindfulness? Write in the chat box out of 10. How effective was the mindfulness? Oh, oh, Mubashir, 100 out of 100. And you are not able to share even how did you feel? Come on, Mubashir, feel how did you feel when you were doing mindfulness? I feel like I am in the sky, then I'm very lightful. Okay, and you didn't realize that, you know, you are able to listen to your organs talking to you, speaking to you. You are able to realize that you have so many things with you, but you take yourself lightly. You take yourself for granted. You think that, okay, I am existing. I'm existing. It is just like that, that I'm existing. Yes, ma'am. Wasn't that realization when we were doing mindfulness? Okay, so my dear aspiring leaders, the first thing starts in self-awareness is awareness of oneself, awareness of our own body, awareness of our own existence, that we exist here, we are here. And we are here with lots of faculties, we are here with lots of strength, we are here with lots of qualities, we are here with lots of skills. We are not just surviving here, and we are not here just to survive in this world, but we are here to thrive in this world. So that was the first activity to make us realize. Now coming to the second activity of the self-awareness is that we are going to now acknowledge, recognize, appreciate. There are three steps, acknowledge, recognize, appreciate, and regulate. Four stages are there our emotions. First of all, acknowledge the emotions, recognize the emotions. Then after that, we have to, after recognizing the emotions, what we have to do? We have to appreciate our emotions and then we have to regulate our emotions. Okay. So because emotions are the part of our existence, we are in this world with the emotions. Nobody can say that I am emotionless. I don't have any emotions. Now for this, what we are going to do is now for this, what we are going to do is 
that you know emotions are on your screen you all can see i need three volunteers for this just raise up your hand volunteers so that i can acknowledge you but before that we have to wish good morning to one of your friend yes all of you say one two three good morning zainab good morning ma'am good morning morning all of you all of you together good morning zainab good morning zainab good morning zainab so zainab this is a special good morning for you because you came late in the class okay zainab so now we are going to do this emotional intelligence discussion activity here i can found three volunteers asna mahesh mubashir and fortunately all three of you have already spoken so may i ask three other volunteers those who have not spoken so far so that i can give you the chance other participants please raise up your hand for this activity of acknowledging the emotions recognizing the emotions appreciating the emotions and regulating the emotions uh i am not able to find any hands up again only these three hands are up okay so now insha has raised the hand let's give the chance to first insha and then i'll get back to other participants insha please switch on your video because this activity has to be done on video without video we cannot do yes insha insha what you have to do is that you have to select any one emotion out of this but you don't have to tell us keep it in your mind okay and then i am going to highlight your face on the screen and you have to show that emotion on your face and then all the participants will recognize it and then if it is correct then you can say correct if it is not correct then you keep silent and let them acknowledge and let them recognize your emotion are you getting my points insha did you understand yes. that yes okay so shumaila insha and uh, asna and mubashir and mahesh all four of you please select one out of this and keep reserve with you don't tell us just keep reserve with you okay now i am going to stop sharing my screen so that i can highlight your face so i got the name first name was insha insha you have to just show your facial expression so that they should recognize that which emotion you are showing insha your time starts now show your emotion on the face you are in the spotlight are you showing are you showing yes okay show again yes children which which emotion she is showing happy insha is it happy yes okay so very good correct now let me just check with mubashir yes mubashir go ahead are you showing the emotion this is your emotion yes ma'am okay yes guess aspiring leaders please guess the emotion I'm happy. Oh oh. Is it happy, Mubashir? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so now let's go to Shumaila. Yes, Shumaila, show your emotion. Are you showing the emotion? Yes, ma'am. Okay, children, guess. one thing is clear it's not happiness that i can guess now what exactly is this you all have to guess and tell me and between the happiness and not happiness <laughs> then what is that between happiness and not happiness you know all the emotions are here on the screen now you can see 
Ma'am, frustrated. 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 Yes, Shumaila. Yes, ma'am. Was, was it frustrated? Yes, ma'am. Oh wow! You understood such difficult emotion. Congratulations. Now let me, let me ask the next one. Next is Mahavish. Yes, Mahavish. Switch on your video and show us your facial expression. Mahavish. Ah, uh, okay. So Mahavish video is not on. We are not able to see her. So, dear leaders, it's important for us to understand each and every emotion. It's not at all that we are happy. Sometimes we are angry. Sometimes we are sad. Sometimes we are frustrated. Sometimes we are angry. Sometimes we are surprised. Sometimes we are shy. Sometimes we are bossy. Sometimes we are sleepy. Sometimes we are embarrassed. Sometimes we are mean. Sometimes we are proud. Sometimes we are nervous. Sometimes we are silly, sometimes we are disappointed, sometimes we are confused, sometimes we are impatient, sometimes we are curious, sometimes we are kind, and sometimes we are obnoxious, and sometimes we are excited, and sometimes we are grumpy. Now tell me, is there any emotion that is bad? Yes or no? I'm angry. Yes. I'm impatient. I'm sad. Okay, so actually the emotions that we consider is bad or maybe negative. So as such, no emotion is bad or negative. It depends on the usage that when do you use it. Like suppose if somebody is being beaten on the road, okay, and you see the person being beaten by somebody cruelly at the road, and then you are happy at that time laughing. <laughs> we are so happy you are being beaten. What do you feel? The person is mad or insane or he is a sensible person? Sensible. Of course, he is not a sensible person. Because if somebody is being beaten, you cannot laugh. You cannot enjoy the scene. You have to be sad at the moment. You have to be angry with the person who is beating. So whatever emotions God has created, each emotion has its place. Each emotion has its usage. And as a leader, we should know when to use it, how to use it, and how to make the best use of our emotions. Sometimes, you know, we, we only use two emotions mostly. We are happy, no three emotions. We are happy, we are sad, we are angry. You know, in all the things you will ask the children, what happened? Why are you like this? I am sad. Although maybe the child is not only sad, child may be frustrated, child may be confused, child may be angry, child may be having some other emotions, but Normally, we are unable to recognize our emotion that exactly what emotion I am going through right now. So first step is to recognize it. Second step is to, first step is to acknowledge it that yes, I am going through an emotion right now. I am not emotionless person. And second step is to recognize that emotion. And third step is that we have to appreciate that, yes, if I'm angry at this moment, it is okay, it is good because this situation requires anger. And then fourth is how to regulate. Like maybe uh, if I'm angry, how I have to respond. In my anger, I should not do something that is silly. I should not do something that is not worth doing. I should not do some uh, foolish things in my anger. That is called regulation of emotions. That yes, emotions I have, I am angry with you, but I'm not going to slap you because I know slapping is bad. I know this is not my right to slap someone. So although I'm angry, but I will not slap. That is called how we regulate our emotions. And this is important to grow as a successful person in life or to grow as a all-round uh, development of any human being. It is important to regulate the emotions. So how many of you understood this point? Please write in the chat box if you understood that how we have to acknowledge, recognize, appreciate, and regulate the emotions. Yes, right. If you understood, write you in the chat box. Understood? Understood? Yes, very good. Aisha understood. Sarish understood. Mubashir understood. 
Okay, Sudhir understood very good. Now suppose in the class you have written some thing in the notebook. Teacher has given you task and you submit it to the ma'am. And when the ma'am look at your work, ma'am said, <laughs> "This you have written." And she mocked at you. What will you do? How? What will be your emotion at that moment? And how will you respond to the emotion? Yes, Zikra. Yes, ma'am. How will you respond? What will be your emotion at that moment? And how will you respond to that? Ma'am, I will first of all be embarrassed that why would she say like that, and then I would feel slightly angry because I worked on that thing, and then she just insulted me. So I would not feel good. Then okay, this is like you are acknowledging your. Uh, emotions and you are recognizing like you are able to name that then what yes. will be your what will be your respond to that um so i don't want to appear mean to my teacher because she's obviously older than me in experience and age so i'll just say that okay ma'am i'll try to correct it and i'll like rectify my mistake very good she deserved a big round of clap okay having an emotion recognizing the emotion is okay good and then how to respond to that emotion like some people what they do i have seen the children reacting in this way that they will say no oh, they will start like showing their anger and then shouting at the teacher and then saying blah 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 to the teacher and then at times it goes to that extent the teacher takes a child to the principal's office and then whole scene is there parents are called and all those things are happening but yes, you said that naturally the teacher is teacher, she is elder, so you cannot confront in front of her. But maybe after the class, you can go and you can very politely say to the teacher that it, I really felt very bad and embarrassed when you were mentioning about me. If I have written anything wrong, ma'am, please call me separately and privately and tell me. So uh, why I can feel this? Because when I was writing my exam in grade uh, eight or nine, I, I still remember that there was a word I was writing in Urdu. So there was a word, it is like bay loss. So when I was writing, like when I wrote like loss, lam, wa, or say, say has three dots. So my all three dots uh, com combined because I was writing with the, uh, do you know, wood pen with the ink, we dip in the uh, ink pot and then we write with that. So uh, that's why that sometimes ink is more in on the tip and then the letters are combined. So all three dots, my all three dots combined together. So it became like T, not S, it is T. So you can read it as Belot instead of Belos. And I remember that my teacher was uh, reading it as Belot and then she was laughing. And then I felt very, very embarrassing that moment and very sad also. And you can imagine like how many years ago it happened. And maybe during this period of time, I have written, I would have written so many papers, so many exams, but I don't remember other things, but I remember this incident because the teacher acted like that. But as Zikra has suggested, I also did the same thing. I just felt bad in my heart and I didn't say anything to her, even not in the private also, I couldn't say, but privately we can always tell to the person that is the healthy habit. So that there should not be any uh, misfeeling among the student and the teachers. Okay, so my dear uh, aspiring leaders, this was the second step after being mindful of our body, our faculties, our organs. The second step is that we have to be aware of our emotions. And we have to acknowledge that yes, emotions do exist. And all the time we are going through some emotions. A human being cannot be without emotions, but a human being should know how to manage the emotions and how to regulate the emotions. Now, to be self-aware, it is also important that how we deal with the people, you know, our dealing with the people is also our awareness that I know myself how I deal with the people, okay? I know myself how I deal with the strangers. I know myself how I deal with my mom and dad. I know myself how I deal with my friends. I know myself how I deal with teachers. Have you heard ever heard the people saying, like children especially saying, that I don't know, ma'am, how it happened from me. 
I didn't do intentionally. You know, many times the children, they come and they say, you know, my hand did this. I didn't do that. It happened by my hand. It happened from my leg, but I didn't do that intentionally. So why it is happening? Because the child doesn't know how to, how his behavior pattern with the people. What is his treatment style with the people? So if you are not aware, this is not awareness of the other people, this awareness of yourself, your style, your pattern. So we have to be cautious about our behavior pattern, our treatment style with the people. And in that, the major role is how we listen to others. Okay. And before we do this activity, I need one volunteer for this activity where we are going to do and learn that when we say that we should know to listen to the people, what exactly we mean about that. So who, who wants to go? Uh, who is this uh, Xiaomi? Please write your name. Enter in the room with your own name. What is your name, Xiaomi? Next time, I want everybody to come with name. Otherwise, we will not give you the entry. Xiaomi, I'm sending you in the waiting room. Please write your name. Tell me your name. Xiaomi. Oh, oh, I think I have to send Xiaomi to the waiting room. Anyone knows who is Xiaomi here? Okay. Who wants to go for this activity? Not, not Mubashir, Asna, Insha, because they have already participated. Even Zikra has also participated. Now, who, who wants to go for this? Sehrish Mirza, will you go? Sehrish Mirza, will you go for this activity? Yes, ma'am. Okay, switch on your video, please. Ma'am, my video is not working. Oh, then you cannot do this activity, my dear, because here we need facial expressions. Aisha, will you go for this activity? Aisha? Aisha, I think, is uh, not listening to us right now. Uh, Lynn, would you like to go for this activity? Or Abdul Mojib wants to go or Vakas wants to go? Yes, Vakas is ready. Okay. So, Vakas, for this activity, I and you have to go in the breakout room. Okay. So, I will send you in the breakout room. And then I will join you there for one minute. And then I will come back here. So let me send Vakas. Where is Vakas? Vakas, I am sending you in room number two. Please move to room number two. Vakas, move to room number two. On your screen, there is a message. No, I don't have any type of message like that. Chat. No, on the screen directly the message comes on the screen. Okay, actually I have not opened the room. Okay, now it will come. Okay, yes, it came. I'm joining. Yeah, please move. Okay, meanwhile you all be here. You can chit chat with your friends. I'll be back within two minutes. I, I want to spend time with Vakas for two minutes. So Vakas, what you are supposed to do is that in your life, whatever is most interesting, okay? When I will take you back in the hall, in the main room, you have to speak that interesting event, okay? Whatever happened the most interesting in your life so far, the most, most, most interesting thing in your life, just think in your mind. And when I will take you in that room, main room, you enter and you start speaking loudly, loudly, very loudly. This thing happened in my life that is very interesting. I want to narrate this story to you all. Did you get my point? Okay. Yeah. So, so yes, yes, I got you. Here. I'll, I'll, I'll call you within one minute over there. Okay, okay. 
so dear friends where are you all i went for 2 minutes and you all vanished from here oh i don't know where they went from why they went neither mobile share no other person breakout rooms i think so no breakout room yeah. i have not sent them how they can go they cannot go to the breakout room but anyway like abdullah is here abdul mujib is there insha is there zainab you are there and abdullah zubair five people are here when vakas comes back here okay so when vakas comes back what you have to do is you all have to unmute yourself and start shouting loudly okay very loudly because vakas will come here and vakas will also shout louder than you but you have to prove that you can shout louder than vakas okay can you do that all of you ma'am ma can you just say it like again but like it was muted it was lagging no i was ma have to like like when vakas have comes to show like being un unmute when vakas comes you keep yourself unmuted everybody unmuted when you well in advance unmute yourself okay the moment vakas enters here you all have to start speaking loudly whatever comes to your mind any poem any and anything any dialogue anything you want to say either vakas or outside vakas or anything just make noise there should be some noise when vakas enters here okay understood insha did you understand yes ma'am then unmute yourself keep unmuted so that you should not waste yes, time we will be here within no time Oh oh where is our character hero Where is our hero I mean where is where is Vakas He is not in the house It seems that you people uh, when I sent Vakas to the breakout room why you all people went to the breakout room Zikra and all you were supposed to be here only you were not supposed to go anywhere yes vakas has come welcome welcome everybody yes come on come on vakas is here okay come uh, on come on everyone come on everyone come on come on everyone what did i told you come on everyone come on come on and mute and come on everyone insha come on zanab come on everyone come on come on all of you Insha, Zainab, come on, everyone. Abdul Majid. Oh oh. Ah, uh, Vakas, I will send you in the waiting room for one minute. Okay, I'll take you one minute once again. See what I taught you, people. When a cast comes, you all have to shout loudly, loudly. And how? Say anything. You start. Just say teacher class. Me, Rati. So, you guys are playing in class. Me. You. Where is Where is Abdul Mojib? Abdul Mojib, what did I told you? Abdul Mojib. I'm sorry, ma'am. Yeah, I will do. I will do this time. Yeah. See, you people are so shy, as if that you are doing first time this activity. You, when a cast, I will going to take a cast in. as soon as he enters you all start shouting something something whatever comes to your mind okay okay ma'am like example <laughs> like there was a man he was very foolish man and the photo look a little star and johnny johnny yes papa what it's anything <laughs> okay. just speak there should be noise in the house okay so okay, now zanab also zanab i taught you but zanab also was mum that time everybody unmute yourself everybody unmute 
and for continuous <laughs> two minutes you have to continue doing this okay okay for two minutes continue now he is going to come one two, three Yo. Hello, 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 Vakas, okay, tell your story. Welcome. Just, start a story. You people continue. Start a story, Vakas. Uh, okay, so. Yeah. 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 And I don't really know what to say right now. Muffin. Okay, now silence. Now silence, okay? I'm not going. Okay, Vakas, now you can, now you tell your story, okay. Uh, okay. The most interesting thing which uh, happened to me in my life is uh, of the 15th August, Independence Day. On that day, I was uh, switching my school, uh, but then uh, it was raining and everything, so they cancelled all the shows. And I was sad that day, so I couldn't. I, I worked really hard on it. Okay, Vakas, uh, thank I you. Thank you. Know. Thank you very much. Thank you. Vakas, thank you very much. So, when uh, Vakas entered in the room and Vakas tried to say something, did you understand anything? No, ma'am, ma'am, because of no, sh shouting. Because we were no, shouting so much. Shouting. And, and because of, ma'am, because of shouting. And, and when Vakas started narrating the story, when you all were silent, did you understand? Yes, ma'am, I understand. Yes, ma'am. What did he say? And one day, the, uh, there was raining and I was... Okay. The independent, on the Independence Day, it started raining and he was prepared for the Independence Day celebration. So uh, this activity, actually, when we are doing offline, not online, so what happened, that challenge is given to the person that when you enter in the hall, you have to narrate your story and make the people listen. And the challenge to the people is given that you will not allow the person to tell the story and you will start shouting and in your own words, you will be. So there are many people who become nervous because initially, you know, Vakas face was also looking quite nervous, isn't it? Vakas, when they all were shouting, did you feel nervous? No. Vakas, unmute and speak, my dear. Okay, yes, a little bit uh, after when I came in, uh, when you allowed me in, uh, they were shouting and I instantly like just like flashback. I didn't know just uh, what to say. Then again, I remembered everything which I wrote it down and everything. So, yeah, I felt quite nervous. Yes, yeah, so that's true. When, when people are not paying attention towards you, if you want to say something, so this is quite obvious that we become nervous. When I say that we have to learn how to listen to the people, it means then we have to leave everything, whatever we are doing. So our eyes, ears, body posture, everything should be focused on the speaker. That is called active listening. When we are trying to understand ourselves, we have to understand our this habit also, whether do I have active listening habit or my listening is passive. In some cases, people say something else, we listen something else, and we understand even something else. So there are three triangles like this. So this is person saying, this is we understanding, and this is we listening. So saying, listening, and understanding, there is a big gap. That's why the confusion arises, and that's why you will, you will feel that there are lots of conflicts going on. Even I also had this bad habit of not listening. You know, when? When I was not listening, like suppose if any child or any teacher or anybody has done something wrong, and then I'll call the person in my cabin, then I won't listen to them. I will just start saying whatever I want to say. I will start shouting at them, yelling at them, scolding them without listening from them. This was really a bad habit of mine. 
I, I acknowledge this because, you know, acknowledging our mistake is the first step of improvement. Then I realize that how we have to improve it. You will see the people that people will, when the person is speaking, they will interrupt in between, not allowing the person to even complete the sentence. In those cases, especially when the parents come to us complaining about any issue of the school, they will start saying, and then we, when we open our mouth to say something, then they will interrupt and again say, so what is my reaction to them? I just fold my arms, I say, okay, now you complete, once you complete, let me know so that then I will speak. Then, then in that case, they just shorten their speech and they say, okay, ma'am, now I am done. Now you say what you want to say. So this is the best technique of making the people realize that how they have to speak less precisely, concisely, and then to bring the discussion to a shorter level. Otherwise, if they are speaking, we are not listening, we are speaking. Both are speaking, 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 there is no listening happening. Then it will continue. We will not come to any conclusion. So that's why in the self-awareness, active and mindful listening is, again, very important. Now, this is the last last activity that we are going to do regarding the self-awareness. The last activity is Do you all know that one thing that is very close to us and we cannot survive without that. Do you know what is that? From oxygen. From oxygen. Uh, I'm talking about oxygen is a thing. I'm talking about the action. I'm breathing. Yes, Mahvesh, wonderful. So breathing is one action that without that we cannot live. But can you walking? tell me, can you, no, walking, without walking we can live now because we can sleep on the bed. We can sit on the chair. Oh, okay. Yeah. So one thing that we cannot live is breathing. Now, can you tell me how many times you breathe when you, in a minute? Like this is so essential for us. Have you ever observed yourself? Are we aware of our breathing? Can you check now and tell me how many times you can breathe in a, in a minute? I'm 10 times. Only 10 times? Mm -hmm. I am going to put the timer here for your convenience. Okay. And then you can count your breathing once I say start. Okay. So. One, two, three, start. Stop. Now tell me how many times? Ma'am, 27 times. Ma'am, 28. Ma'am, 27 times. 24. 24. 24. 24. 24. 24. 24. 24. 24. 24. 24. 24. 24. 24. 24. 24. 24. 24. 24. 24. 24. 24. 24. 24. 24. 24. 24. 24. Eight to sixteen breaths per minute for an infant. A normal rate is up to forty-four breaths per minute. So infant is even more, and adults are even less. So I am still infant. It seems, okay. So what I wanted to tell you is, 
that it is so essential, yet we don't know that how many times we breathe in a minute, isn't it? This is lack of self-awareness. We don't know about ourselves. We don't know how many words we speak in a minute. Have you, have you counted ever? No. Okay, then count. I will show you the timer. How we can count? Then because we not speak. No, you can do one thing. You select any one word, normal uh, the normal length of word, and you speak uh, on your finger. Then they'll say how many times you are speaking. Then I will say stop. Then you can see how many times you have said done. Did you understand? Like halima, 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 like that. You say, and then we will see in one minute how many times you said. Okay. Yes. So my dear, reset and. Go. Stop. Now tell me how many times, how many words? 95 times. Ma'am, 96 times. Oh, oh. 95 100. times. 100. 95 times. Okay, mine was, mine was 120. Do you want to know? Do you want to know what is the average human being? How many words are average human being speaks? Okay. 100. Words spoken by a Normal human in a minute. So the average speaking rate is 173 words per minute. A speaking rate range from 154 to 200 words per minute. Now, when we are talking, then it is very high level. So anyway, like this somewhere around we are, if we are 140 to 150 words, maybe you are children, so yours will be not that uh, speed. Uh, maybe yours will be 105. So that is called like average uh, way we speak the words in a minute. Why I am doing this a small activity is to make us realize that we are speaking every day. We are walking every day. We are breathing every moment, but we don't know how we are breathing. I don't know how we are talking, how we are walking. So this is lack of self-awareness. And the last thing when I'm going to ask you people, then you will realize, okay, what is the purpose of my life in this world? What is my big goal? And what I'm doing for that big goal? Do you have the answers for that? How many hours I spent for my big goal? I know that your parents must have given you some dreams. Pilot, doctor, engineer, professor, businessman, Elon Musk, and Jeff Bezos, or whatever, these type of things. But this is your parents have given you the words. Only words are ringing in your ears. Those words have not taken the position of goal. Goal means there has to be a pathway. There has to be a planning. There has to be a strategy. There has to be day-to-day -day functioning involved. How many hours you spend for that? Eight. I'm first Ten. I, I must say that in your mind, you should spend 24-7. Even you dream of that. Even if you dream of your goal. But of course, physically, you have to sleep also, you have to eat also, you have to do natural uh, things also, then naturally you have to spend maybe eight to 10 hours 
but mentally it has to be 24 7 always in the mind then how it is going to help you you will not fight even anyone you will think oh this is just a stupid thing why should i waste my energy time mind in that let me focus on my goal let me focus on my goal you will not waste on video games oh why i am playing video games is it going to help me to my goal oh no then let us let it be aside let me focus on my goal so my dear aspiring leaders always have a big goal and a big plan in life and then move towards that try to understand yourself understand your abilities it is said that the people in the world are always underutilizing their faculties underutilizing their capabilities under underestimating their themselves like i am capable of doing more but i think oh i cannot do although i can do many more things so try to understand, try to unleash your potentials, your capabilities. There is no limit of that. And today is World Environment Day. Try to have environment in your goal attached with that. Okay? Like if you want to be a doctor, environmentalist, environmentalist doctor, environmentalist engineer, environmentalist teacher, everywhere it should be in the mind that we have to work for the world for the globe, for the environment, to make it a better place. To whatever profession we go, we have to keep that in mind. So thank you everyone. With this today's session come to an end. Now this is question answers time. And then after that, I would request Abdullah if he is here to announce the scores for these three days. Or maybe we can announce after a week, once you will complete the week. And then uh, I'm happy that you all are doing your task very honestly. If you have any queries, any questions, please go ahead. I don't found any red leaf in, in our society. You uh, didn't find any red leaf? Yes, ma'am. Okay, then for that very good thing is that you just find out on the net and click that. Okay, ma'am. That is the only option. Now, anybody has any, any question regarding this? Okay, let me just 